It's Hope and Glory. Mark Hurdy, the Lincoln City head coach, has joined us here at Pride Park. Uh, Mark, your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, I thought it was a really brilliant game for us and I thought the lads were absolutely outstanding. So nobody likes losing football matches, certainly I don't. But really proud of the guys, really proud of the performance. And I thought man for man we were superb. Um, I always say to the lads, and I'm bored of saying it and they're bored of me saying it, goals at most levels are scored by two things, set pieces and mistakes. And um, and ultimately it was, it was two mistakes, one two which I've got a real pet hate with, um, but it was really good play and then a ball that we should just hook on, um, th that's life, um, I thought the lads were superb, barring the result which is what we're here to do, couldn't be prouder of the group. When we spoke pre-match you were excited about what could happen tonight, but you were a little bit unsure of what could happen, did it turn out as you expected in the end? Um, I really Yes and no. The reality is, when you look at, you know, with an average age of 22, when you look at our team and unbelievably the team that Paul's put out, which is an outstanding team by the way, the reality is if you play 10 times you should lose 9, but I always felt really confident that we could take a minimum of something from the game. But once the first goal comes in, it's going to be really, really difficult. Um, and then unfortunately we were just changing to 5-3-2 to go and really attack it and while we were trying to get our subs on um, it was a really poor second goal from us which killed the game off completely. We spoke to Washington Gallagher uh, earlier on and you could see the pride that he had he told us he, he knew on Friday. What was that like as a, as a head coach giving that first start to a player and, and him impressing as well? Um, what's it like for me? For me I'm doing my job so there's a... I'm, quite an emotionally cold person um, through the highs and lows of football and life. Um, you know, I don't, we just don't give, deb we ju I just don't give minutes to people. You've got to really, really earn it. But really proud of him. It's like he's, he earned that tonight. He deserved to play. He's made me, he's said to me, you have to pick me. Um, but really, really proud of him. I know he's really, really proud of himself. His family should be really proud of him. And, um, and as a club, we're, we're really, really proud of him. And I thought Joe Vaughan as well, and his full debut tonight was equally as impressive. Um, so as a manager, I'm just doing my job, um, but he's earned that, and it's our job to help. And I think as a club and as a staff, we deserve plenty of credit for how we've all got to this position together. Um, but then once you walk over the white line, you've got to do the business, and I thought he really did the business tonight. I guess he gives you options, doesn't he? I know central midfield is not an area where you're struggling for options, but it's another player to, to be involved in that. Yeah, I just said to the players today, irrespective of what happens, I uh, didn't have any idea what Paul was going to do with his team wise. We obviously appreciate that we're very, very young and inexperienced in terms of years and minutes. Um, so on any given day, anything can happen. I mean, it's been some, if you look at some of the results in the Cup tonight, as you'll know. Um, and I just said to the lads, please, please, please show me personality, show me character, show me bravery, um, show me that we've got a young, talented group of players, like, scream at me, pick me, and I thought everybody did that, I thought everybody did that tonight, not just the young ones. Um, Jaden Brown coming in, Jay Ben, Hax I thought was outstanding, um, Alistair as well, having come off at half-time the other day, um, I thought Jordan Wright was outstanding, so I don't want to go through the whole team and board a life out of you, but... But the lads showed real personality tonight in the game. Um, going to Saturday now against Portsmouth, who, as we talk at the moment, are, are doing pretty well in their game away at Barnsley. Is this going to be the toughest test of the season in the league? Um, look, if you're playing Portsmouth away, on any season of year, it's an incredibly tough place to go. Um, but if you look at their form, where they are, they're the only team unbeaten in the league. Games can change in any given moment, but they're currently 3-1 up away to Barnes at the moment. So they've got um, an outstanding young manager, uh, very, very individual good players, incredible squad. So I imagine there'll be 20 odd thousand at that really point. So, um, but we go into every game believing we can win, and Saturday, trust me, will be no different. And just on the, the strike situation, we talked about the injuries to Ben House and Tyler Walker at the, the weekend. Some people might say, are you looking at other players, players that aren't currently with a club? Is that an option or are you holding court and thinking 
Tyler is not too far away. Jack Vale's an option. You've got Joven. You, you've used to keep. Um, well, Tyler's miles away, so Tyler's not an option. Tyler's so far away. It's untrue to no fault of his own. Ben House has discussed. Um, unfortunately, Danny Andrew can play there. He was injured last week. Uh, Rico's played there. He wasn't available tonight through injury. So. Um, you know, we're going to have to be really, really creative with that position. Um, and, and that's what we're paid to do. I don't really focus on what I haven't got. I try and focus on what I have got. But it's clearly a difficult situation. But um, the club employ me to... They don't employ me... To, the clubs don't employ managers to say, there's 100 million quid, certainly not in League One. And here's a choice of five strikers. Take your pick, chop and change. Um, they employ us to be in difficult situations and make the best of of what we have and I think we've done that really well over the course of the last 15 months. Um, difficult situation but uh, not something I fear, something I embrace. So the message is you, you're going to use what you've got rather than try and add in this period? Yeah it's not something, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've, I'm not knocking on anybody's door saying can I have an extra player, look we've lost two, are we bringing another one in? We've got hopefully Jack Vale, fingers crossed, and um, we'll have a good week behind him with, with Blackburn this week and he'll be with us next Monday all being well. We'll have to be really careful and creative again with his minutes. Um, I think the board and I have a brilliant relationship in that they've been incredibly supportive for me this year um, and, and last year, I should say, since I've been in. But I've never ever gone knocking on the door saying, can I have this, can I have that? I don't work like that. And equally, the, I think the board have been really proactive, positive, supportive. Um, and really, really fair when it when it's come to us. Like, I, I didn't ask for Ethan Arahan, but they said to me, Mark, we've got a player here who's really talented. We've got money available if you think he's the right player for us. Um, Ethan Arahan and Ethan Hamilton. So I, I can't compliment them enough on that. Um, but to answer your question, it's I've, it's not something I I was planning to do. Well, we haven't got planned talks. So I'm, I'm just getting on with what I've got, and I'm quite happy with that.